I feel so elevated for this elevation. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I'm on the floor as I always am and today I'm going to show you how I did this quick elevation. And I would really appreciate it if you can stay till the end because I kind of need your help with something and I tend to ramble when I'm excited. And by the way, this is like the 10th time I've tried to record and upload this video for some reason. This is the second time today because I just recorded my voice and then realized the mic wasn't plugged in. Again, typical, typical Russia. Anyway, the first thing that I did was just take a picture of a sky and put it in the back. And then just erased some of the edges and just filled up the windows with the quick selection tool. And also the frames with a just quick selection tool and then a color overlay. And here I'm just taking some bricks and then adjusting them to scale and I'm using honeycomb bricks on the top because one of my concepts is that the house is inspired by lanterns or brick screens just to bring the street back to life because if you walk through that street it's really dead, empty and alone. Anyway, I just took the picture of screens and rearranged it and I really did not know how I wanted to arrange them yet so I was just playing around with the bricks and here I'm just making sure that the scale is correct again because the bricks I thought they were too big and you can do that by just pressing the line command and then seeing what size those bricks are and if it's uh, the appropriate scale and then I duplicated that layer and put it on the top and I didn't really worry about having it perfect because I am sure no one would really really spend the time to make sure that every brick was aligned with each other so it's fine as long as it looks okay and then here I use three lines of bricks because this is actually a complementary building to the adjacent buildings. So I wanted to use the same material and I also use some of the lines in the windows from the adjacent buildings. Duplicate that layer and put it on the top and then I've cut up the roof to add another texture of bricks on the top. And I thought it would be cool if the screens were aligned to the windows. So I'm just using the grid and just erasing the screens to show the regular bricks underneath. And I just took a picture of wooden door and added that to the elevation. And used some levels, hues and saturation just to desaturate the image a bit. And now I'm using some pictures of lush and pictures of offices with low opacity behind the window. And then on top a texture of glass and just really experiment with blending mode as I never really know which looks best. But usually the best for light is soft light, vivid light, hard light or even overlay. And here I'm just making sure that the roof is a bit lighter because it's a slanted roof. And I'm adjusting its line weight using the eraser. And then just add some shadows to the columns, shadows to everything that is extruding out or 3D. I think this is the part where the elevation comes to life. Now this is a simple project but if you do this for like a really long elevation with a lot of extruding parts then it would look amazing. So don't forget that. And I think this is the end of the elevation. So on to the rambling part. Um, what I need your help with is which type of videos you want to see because I have a lot of video ideas in my mind but I really I'm kind of struggling with time management because I have so much to do with uni and then I don't know which types of videos you would prefer to see 
So, do you like sketching? Do you like rendering? Do you like funny videos like challenges or pranks? All relating to architecture, of course. Would you be interested in that? Um, I'm really open to suggestions because I don't want this channel to just be about Photoshop and rendering because that's not what architecture is and I don't want people that are new to architecture to think that that it's just about working and not having a good time or like architecture can be fun too so honestly I'm open to any suggestions and I have a Facebook page and you can also comment down below I will truly appreciate it and we can also discuss these things together because this is your channel as much as it mine. I'm Rosha Shururu and I'll see you next time.